Hi guys, Lee98 here. Welcome to a quick tutorial on how to change the LOD model in a custom character mod. I've included this clip to show you how it doesn't look very good when the LOD model isn't changed as Bowser and Blastoise are interchanging when the LOD mod gets farther away. So this tutorial will change that. Step one would be to open Brawl Crate and find, uh, for example, the cart model that Bowser is located. So that's KP and we will change that because I've already changed Bowser in that file blasters as you can see there so this is the Bowser mod that it was interchanging with and what you're going to want to do then is open the preview for this we can full screen that and just zoom out because blasters is quite large okay we can just open these windows around the side and the first thing you're going to want to do is to pull down and get him into the weight pose and that's obviously the pose at the beginning. So click on a scale root to get the, the rotation and scale. So we can copy that and then paste and make sure you're doing it in this transform all area. And you'll be able to see that that has now changed the standard default pose of Blastoise. And that's basically the same as the one in the LOD model. So we can export this and make sure to save it as something you recognize and i'm going to save it in here just in the blasters folder there okay and we'll change that to blastoise cart lod i think yeah, that's cool and make sure it's dae save and we'll do the same for the bowser lod model again save it something you know so we can come back to this in a bit and that's going to want to be DAE as well. Okay, now let's head over to Blender. Right guys, so what you're going to want to do is get your two DAE files and put them into the FBX 2013 converter and quickly hit convert there so that they're now FBX files and we can access them in Blender. And we can open a new Blender page, get rid of these, because don't need them, file, import, and we'll find the FBXs that we've just converted and we can get some downloads. Okay, so that's Blastoise and we want the Bowser one as well. So once we've got these two in, you're going to want to get rid of the armature that Blastoise is still rigged to because we don't need that anymore. So we can delete that and now Blastoise is huge. So just control and scale him down right down to the same size as Bowser so it scales properly in the game when it renders the model. Okay, so we can rotate that round so it's roughly in the same position. That's pretty good. We might scale it a bit differently. Yeah, we'll move it slightly back and up. Okay, so once you've got it in the right position what you're going to want to do is get rid of the Bowser polygon. Okay, and we can control, select them, and parent it with empty groups to the armature of the LOD model. And once that's done, you can go into object mode, select one of them, edit mode, and into the vertex groups, we want to get rid of the one we're not going to use and assign everything to that one there. Okay, and that's the same for this polygon as well. Make sure we get rid of all of these because we don't need any of them. And it's just a waste of space so we can assign everything to this one vertex group here. Okay back into object mode click this little icon here and it'll take you to the modifiers. We want to go to decimate because we want it to be low poly and as you can see here it's quite high so I'm going to do mm, that's a bit too low. Maybe is a good idea. The lower the face is the better but obviously you want to still keep it looking decent and we can apply that to both of them. Um, just going to check this one. Okay so that's a small face count anyway so I think we'll just leave that one. There we go so that's done so now you want to file and export it as an FBX and once that's done we can um, change it back into a DAE 
and put it back into Brawl Crate. So I'll just quickly do that. Remove them. Put it into the FBX converter. Change that to DA Ukulada and convert. And then we'll head back over to Brawl Crate once that's done. Okay, so once you've opened up your cart file, what you're going to want to do is right click on the LOD and replace and we'll find our DAE file we have just created. Uh, make sure it's these settings, they are the same as the ones I use in my other tutorials, so there we go. Okay, and there we go. It's loaded in and you can now see the awful quality of it. Um, it doesn't look the best, but it looks good enough that when it's far away it won't look too bad. So we're going to want to add some shaders, so you want to go into materials, open these both up, add some references, so we can add the LM underscore zero and LM underscore one nodes. Okay, and we'll quickly replace these shaders with the one I provided in the description. Okay, we'll rename these to LM underscore zero and LM underscore one with for both materials. And once that's done, I will quickly skip through the settings because you guys know the settings that we use for the shaders, but I will show you this quick change first here. Okay, so make sure you use these settings for all the four of the shaders shading nodes in this. Okay, so once that's done, we want to change the active shader stages to three for both materials. Um, so it reads the shading and we change this alpha on constant color three to 255 and change that to true for both materials. Okay, so now we can save that because that's the shading all done although I just quickly delete this texture as we don't need it anymore. So that's just taking up space that we can save. And obviously you want to optimize this, so we will save it now. And I'll just reopen to show you what the shaders look like on this LED model. Okay. There we go. That doesn't look too bad, and for the game to render it, I'm not, not too sure how that'll be, but I'm sure it'll be okay. So obviously just try to make sure that the driver brez is always below 250 if you can. Um, so, so that the game runs smoothly when you're in multiplayer and there's no lag. Okay, so once that's done what I'm going to do is export the driver brez so that I can replace that in all of the cart files for Blastoise slash Bowser. And so that the LOD model is the same for all of them. So I'll just replace this one here. Okay, I'll skip this through because uh, I'll do it for all the carts. Okay, so you can see that that's the same in this file as well. And that's the LE cart one, so it's all the same. Okay, so now you're going to want to copy the cart files across into your My Stuff folder in your SD card. And again, I'll speed this up just because it takes a few minutes, but you understand the process. Just replace that. Okay. Okay. And so now that we've done all of them, we can move over to the Wii and see if it worked. Right guys, as we can see there, it has worked. So whenever the file system switches between the LOD model and the normal race model, there isn't enough of a change that it looks poor anymore. So as we see, we just pull along next to him and it's far enough away that it still looks like it's Blastoise in there and it doesn't change to the Bowser model anymore, which is good. So that's a tutorial on how to create a custom LOD model for your character mod. Um, I hope that was helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Please like, subscribe, leave a comment if you liked the video. And I'll see you tomorrow for an episode of Dark Boo on the road to 9999 VR. Thank you very much for watching. Cheers.